Welcome to Reflecting God Today, a, a moment in time where we take a few minutes of your day to ponder upon God's Word and ponder upon His character and what He has in store for us today. So let, let's not waste any time. Let's just open our Bibles and go to the book of Luke, chapter 14, verse 13 to 14. The Bible says, when you make a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind, and you shall be blessed. For they cannot recompense you, but you shall be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. It is the reward of Christ's workers to enter into His joy. That joy to which Christ Himself looks forward with eager desire is presented in his request to his father. I will that they also whom you have given me to be with me where I am. The angels were waiting to welcome Jesus as he ascended after his resurrection. The, the heavenly host longed to greet again their beloved commander returned to them from the prison of, of the house of death. Eagerly they press about him as he entered the gates of heaven but he waved them back. He, his heart was with the lonely. His heart with, was sorrowing with the band of disciples with whom he just left upon all of it. It is still with the struggling children on earth who have the battle with the destroyer still to be fought. Father, he says, I will that they also whom you have given me be with me where I am. Christ is Redeemed ones are his jewels, his precious and peculiar treasure. They shall be as the stones of a crown, the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. In them shall he see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. And will not his workers rejoice when they too behold the fruits of their labors? Every impulse of the Holy Spirit leading men to goodness and to God is noted in the books of heaven and in the day of God, everyone, and I mean everyone who has given himself or themselves as an instrument from the Holy Spirit's working will be permitted to behold what his life has wrought. Beloved, wonderful will be that revealing as the lines of holy influence with their precious results are brought to view. What will be the gratitude of souls that will meet us in the heavenly courts and they understand the sympathetic, the loving interest which has been taken in their salvation? All praise, honor, and glory will be given to God and to the Lamb for our redemption. But He will not detract from the glory of God to express gratitude to the instrumentality he has employed in the salvation of souls ready to perish. So wherever that you are, whatever that you are doing, whether you are in the office, whether you are uh, with your friends, with your family, allow yourselves to be used by God and allow yourselves to reflect God's character today.